Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, extract, you know, uh, filter the data for precipitation data from chips, you know, uh, daily uh, precipitation data from chips. And I'll show you how to process it, you know, so you can download it. Uh, I'm not using export here. So if you generate the data, you filter it. I will not export the data to drive or to asset. But instead, I'm going to use this uh, method, you know, get download URL, uh, this method. Uh, please uh, be careful because there's a limit uh, or size uh, where on how, when you use this. So you can always use this, uh, but uh, for this one, you can use it because the area is big. Uh, because uh, while the area is big, uh, the home and pixel are there is very limited because strip data have a very low uh, Special resolution, which is 5,000 meter, so we can be fine. Okay, so first, uh, we're gonna set the parameter. You know. uh, okay, uh, before so we import data, chips data, chips daily. So we get a uh, daily processing data. Then I reset the geometry. I'm using the Java Islands, this area, this big. Then I decide uh, how to filter data. Filter the first, I get the first image, then I flip it using our interest, then I mask it. So the area with masking is uh, converted to zero to make sure that uh, they will not to be another value. Then I'll show you the image. Then we make this parameter to download it. So the name, you know, uh, the order of the system, scale, region, file per band, uh, and format, which is your this. Okay. Then we just uh, get, get in a URL, set the parameter, and make the callback where if it error. Uh, you're gonna not do anything. Bit uh, is it error? You're gonna print error, right? So you can know what's the problem with the image. Is it too big or something? Then we just run it. So this is the image, the result. As you can see, uh, the data where uh, if there is it zero range, it's zero. Then we can know the data here. It's uh, so in the link because we create the link for that. Then we download it. Then we put the data here. I'll try which one of the youngest file. So in QGIS, yeah, it's here. Data is here. I'm gonna see the data. So using Turbo, then for the color here. So the area with those uh, area is gonna be have a, a lot of rains. The red one doesn't have a rain. This is based on this map. You can also make the counter polygon of it. So we can know which area I have to or to the data. No, it's more like this. For the counter polygon. And let's try to change the color. So this area is quite uh, I have a lot of green. This area the same. Okay, I think that's it uh, for our video. So you how to uh, see, filter data, then I show you how to show, then I show you how to download it directly without using export. I guess that is thank you. Goodbye.